Hi, I'm Lina Mayorga. Welcome to Fashion Fab News. I'm here with another trend report. This one is Milan Fashion Week, Fall 2020, and I have four really cool and important trends for that season. So if you want to know them, please keep on watching. Well, I'm really excited to be here telling you everything about Milan Fashion Week and I know we're facing really difficult times and especially like during Milan Fashion Week everything started getting crazier so um, right now I just want to send prayers to all Italy and the world in general and I just want to just tell you about the trends so you don't think about these other things and you're just like not in fear all the time um, so I just want to talk about fashion because we love it so much and I hope that everything gets better soon I was gonna go to Italy and I mean they cancelled the trip and I was gonna go as a designer and they cancelled the trip so now everything is gonna be online so yeah not happy about it but let's talk about the trends guys that's why we're here uh, I want to start with a really cool one but it's cool one if we do it vegan okay <laughs> is these leather coats leather coats were seen in so many different fashion shows during Milan Fashion Week so this is the first trend that I want to talk about and it's not only these trench coats like these really long coats with leather like made of leather it's like this like all black look matrix style that type of trend of a style of aesthetic was really popular during Milan and we saw it at Versace Fendi Calcaterra Brock Nano Alberta Ferrari and others so many designers and brands had this type of coat or like a jacket uh, with leather made of leather and I really love it I love that style I'm vegan so if these coats are made of animals I don't approve I don't approve of course like hello <laughs> but if these are just like fall leather those are okay for me well, if you haven't seen my other videos about New York Fashion Week and London Fashion Week, I'm gonna link them below. And basically all the trends that I talk about in the other two videos, they are happening also, like they happen also <laughs> in Milan and Paris. Um, so I want you to keep in mind if you haven't seen those videos, you can see more trends. Uh, for the other cities that are also that were also used for Milan Fashion Week, um, but this time let me talk about the second trend. Um, that is a color actually, and it's the color gray. So for every single like Fashion Week, um, choosing a color, like a really popular predominant color, and this time for Milan Fashion Week was gray. So gray is the second trend we all know that gray has like that serious elegant vibe and i'm really happy that milan showed that color like we saw it at fendi fendi had these two shades of gray one was more like warm light and the other one was more like a cold um bluish undertone gray and i really like it during milan fashion week um, many designers and brands had this gray um, usually for coats of course that's like a statement piece a gray coat um, I saw it at Dolce & Gabbana Acnona uh, Jill Sander Gucci uh, Sport Max so um, I will say like almost every designer had a gray piece and of course for fall gray is like universal and forever and ever you know you're always gonna wear gray for fall but i'm i really like this gray it's like 
especially this gray right here i really really like it um i'm looking forward to seeing more pieces for fall 2020 just like with this color and people just like wearing these i really like it and very universal i'm telling you just like everyone can wear this color and is it was a trend for milan so trend number two let's talk about trend number three and it's gonna be fringes so for fall 2020 milan brands and milan fashion designers show that fringes are gonna be really popular for that season and i really like it it's not only the typical fringe you know this the one that is like thin really long just like different layers of these just like delicate and long stripes um it's not only that one it's also for this instance like the salvatore ferragamo skirt is made out of these fringes uh with like a metallic chain so metallic fringes really cool piece uh or prada prada had like this skirt look at this this is just so beautiful the color is amazing and the fringes are like this thick fringe style mm, just a skirt a skirt made out of fringes like um i really want it can i make it yes <laughs> Will I make it? I don't know. <laughs> but it's really nice. So many designers had it, like Jill Sander, Cristiano Burani, Prada. I mentioned before, Prada had like every single piece with some type of fringe. Uh, Bottega Venera, um, yeah, Salvatore Ferragamo. Just like fringes for fall 2020. And I like it. I like it if it's not like the typical fringe, you know the difference that I'm telling you, like the Jill Sander one will see will, will be more like the typical fringe, but they're using it like all the way, like for all the dress. Uh I like more like the Prada one or like the Salvatore Ferragam. It's like a different fringe. So that's trend number three. Well guys, today I have four trends and number four is color blocking. You know that every time, every, I don't know, two, three years, color blocking comes back. And I feel that since we started seeing color blocking in 2010, I believe, with Prada, like Prada was actually the one that really showed that color blocking really I don't like they really show it since 2010 or something it's more like we kept doing it uh, but this time Milan uh, many designers show us color blocking pieces like Gucci they have really many many and I think they're Gucci is like really popular for that for like mixing those like colors from the color wheel the opposites Mm, really it's like a trend for them it's like a statement style um so yeah color blocking is gonna be really popular for autumn winter 2020 and i saw it at bottega venera i really like this combo this like red and purple uh, i mentioned it before gucci hugo boss uh, msgm uh, feeling plain too they have like really vivid colors and of course prada the one that i'm telling you like if i remember color blocking i will remember prada and like i feel that it was 2010 i think so if i'm not wrong i saw it in 2010 and i remember clearly that i made this like green skirt i still have it and I was wearing like that green skirt with like a purple uh, top that I had before that it was like really bright like really vibrant purple and this guy was like you know like he was like what is this supposed to be and I'm like hello it's color blocking don't you know about that so just like a like a story <laughs> yeah I remember this guy was like we were going to it wasn't a party, I don't know, but this guy 
like he wasn't with me or anything he was just like not even a friend and he was like what's that you know like why are you wearing that you're going out like that like yes hello this is color blocking haven't you seen prada show so of course like you know if you know you know uh, but that's a trend color blocking is gonna be a trend for fall 2020 and I think it's always nice to see color during those cold months uh, For fall, I think it's really nice to wear colors many people only wear black navy gray uh, But seeing these colors, you know, like this blue and green and the purple and red is just like not that common and i like those things <laughs> so color blocking guys for fall 2020 and that's trend number four so let's recap we have leather coats or like these coats with like a shiny material it doesn't have to be leather from animals leather coats the gray color is gonna be really popular uh, for fall 2020 we have fringes all types of fringes and we have color blocking today was only for trends i really wanted to make it quicker for you so you just learn and know like really simple trends from every single fashion week so those were the ones from milan fashion week and don't forget to watch the other ones and um, remember that the links are in the description box and um, sometimes I li link them here too, so please go watch them. Uh, I'm gonna upload this also to my blog. If you haven't seen my blog, it's fashionfabnews.com. Uh, so please subscribe and give it a like to this video. I hope you like it. Mm, come on, please subscribe so I can make more videos about fashion because I really like doing these trend reports. And don't forget to follow me everywhere, Fashion Fab News everywhere, TikTok, Instagram, what else we have, Facebook, <laughs> everything, everything and everywhere. Uh, you can find me as Fashion Fab News and if you want to see more about my design since I'm a fashion designer, sustainable fashion designer, please go to linamajorga.com and my instagram lina tad majorga thanks for watching and i hope to see you really soon please be safe and i love you so much thanks for watching till next time i'm lina bye